Hi everyone, Wonder Tina here. Day 10. The prompt is fortune. Fortune can mean wealth, good luck, but also fortune telling. But I found this verse. A fortune made by lying tongue is a floating vapor and a deadly snare. If someone doesn't understand, I will explain briefly. This means that if you gain your fortune by fraud, what you gain in a scummy way will lead you to death. I have seen so many movies about the mafia that I understood it perfectly. Yeah, having a lot of money isn't a bad thing. Many people think that being a Christian means being poor. Not true. If you have ever read the Bible, many of the characters God chose for some task were often rich or later becoming rich. Abraham, he became rich because the ruler was afraid of God gave the wealth to Abraham. Job, always rich and good and honest businessman. Then he became even richer. Solomon, thanks to the wisdom he received from God, become insanely rich. Having a lot of money is great, but it's only great if you can manage them. In many cases, if an ordinary person unexpectedly becomes rich, he loses contact with reality and destroys himself because he doesn't know what to do with it at all. So, wealth can be blessing or a misfortune, but surely it becomes a misfortune if you make money by cheating. I drew a picture of a poor sheep that a wolf who used the LMM method is trying to lure her into the structure of some company by promising a lot of money for doing nothing. I set my sight on MLM and I will tell you why. In short, it's a kind of marketing method that I didn't believe in from the very beginning. In MLM, you pursue people to become members of some company that is involved in pyramid scam. They always say it's not a pyramid scam, but it is. I took them by their word, but I still wasn't convinced and I did my job with little conviction because I didn't believe that someone genuine would try to sell something and make friends with the recruit. From the beginning, I thought something smells fishy here and I quickly put an end to it. This is a fraud and I, as disciple of Christ, should not do it. Because with a false promise to earn a lot of money, I can expose someone to the danger of losing money and even contact with the reality. It was not that long ago. I didn't knew about it, but recently I come across topic about MLM and financial cults. And that's how I found out what was going on there. These companies are often financial cults that make you depend on them, brainwash you, cut you off from your family and friends. So that was my association with this word. I know, very strange, but this verse from the Bible that I quoted fits this perfectly because it is simply an attempt to get rich by putting the people involved in danger, by making your own fortune. Thanks for watching. I hope it wasn't boring. Goodbye.